Hey everyone, welcome to another $1,000 strap search. I've got my $1,000 in singles here and I'm about to show you what I found. But before I do, let's talk about this week's tip. One of the things I've been seeing a lot of in the news is numbers and big numbers at that. Um, people don't necessarily understand how big numbers work or how even numbers work. And you're going to see later how all this ties in with what I brought up from my box. But uh, the, the number that I keep seeing is 99.9%. Whether you know this kills 99.9% .9 all germs or this is 99.9% .9 safe or whatever the case is. People throw that around like it's nothing. Well, I'm a poker dealer. And if I dealt, I've been dealing for 16 years, and if I dealt 99.9% .9 of my hands correctly, uh, do you know how long it would take me to get fired if I dealt 99.9% .9 correct? Uh, I deal at least 200 hands a day. So for me to deal enough hands to make that add up, 99.9% uh, .9 accuracy, I would be fired in, any guesses? Six weeks, that's correct. In six weeks, I would lose my job if I was only 99.9% .9 accurate. Um, another example for you. There's a lot of people who are afraid to fly. Uh, right this second, there are people that are just afraid to fly, period. I mean, forget any viruses or anything else. They don't like to fly. I am not making fun of everybody who doesn't like to fly. All I'm going to say is that if I... Well, think about the last time you heard of a plane crash. How often does that happen? Once a year? Once every other year? We've gone a year or two without having a major plane crash. If I told you that flying was 99.9% .9 safe, do you know what would happen? Five planes would fall out of the sky every single day if flying was only 99.9% .9 safe. Um, so, yeah. When you hear 99.9%, .9, um, that is not, <laughs> that is not a sure thing by any stretch of the imagination. That would cost me my job in six weeks. Uh, you'd have five planes dropping out of the sky on a, you know, on a daily basis. There are so many other comparisons that you can use. Um, finding, well, here's my thousand dollars in singles. Uh, for me to find a radar, I would have to go through, um, a failure rate of 99.99%. That's one in 10,000 because that's the odds of finding a radar. So yeah, 99.9, .9, that's what I've got here. 1,000, one in a thousand is 99.9. .9. Um, yeah, so not necessarily a sure thing one way or the other. All right, so what did I find this week? Let's take these, get them out of the way and take a peek. Start note, I found another 2017A. I gotta check my book and see if I've got uh, one from Dallas already or not. So 27, 2017A in circulation. I don't see too many of those. This is only like the second one I've ever encountered. Uh, found some trinaries, zeros, twos, and sevens here. This one is sixes, eights, and nines. Here we've got twos, fours, and fives. Twos, threes, and fours. Fours, sevens, and nines. And this one was interesting. Fours, fives, and sevens. But there's only one five and there's one seven. All the rest are all fours. So yeah, that that, that was... That would have been sweet if that was a, a, a solid. Zeros, ones, and threes on this particular one. And this one is twos, threes, and sevens. I did find one with quads. Quad zeros to start with. Quad zeros, you want to see quad zeros out front. Uh, that gives you a shot at a lower number. Um, ideally, you'd want five zeros in front for the note to be considered a true low, low serial number. But I'm not going to complain seeing, them, seeing four in front like that. Then I got some stars. 2017 star note here. Another 2017. Then we get a little older. 2013. Quite a few of these. Not in the greatest of shape there. Still 2013. This one's okay. This one's a little rough. And some older notes. Um, this is a 1995 with 1988A, 1993, and 1995. Be sure to be checking that corner to see if it's a web note. I can see the letter G here, so I know it's not a web note. A web note will only have those little numbers on the side. And usually it'll just be one digit. So yeah, 1995, 1988A. Another 1988A. This one... 
It's got a lot of light creases, but nothing major, so that's actually pretty good. And then the oldest note in the group, it's a 1981. Don't see those too often at all. 1981 $1 bill. Still fairly crisp. So that's what I've found this week. So, what did I bring out from my collection? Well, I showed these, I think, in the second video I ever made. And uh, since we were talking about big numbers, I decided to bring these out. What I've got here are notes from Zimbabwe. Now, Zimbabwe encountered something called hyperinflation. So, yeah, a $1 note is nothing extraordinary. Neither is a 5. All these we have, 10s, 20s, you know, $100 notes. So, yeah, that's, that's all standard stuff. But then we go to 500. We haven't had a $500 note since 1969. Same thing with 1,000. But that didn't cut it. They had to keep going. Here's 20,000, 50,000, 500,000. A million dollars. And it's got writing on it. It's been used. Okay, these are from circulation. Uh, pretty cool serial number on there too. 00790000. Anyway, million dollar note. Not big enough for Zimbabwe. Fifty million dollars. One hundred million dollars. Two hundred million dollars. Once again, you can see these are used. <laughs> One billion dollars. That's insane. Uh, five billion dollars, ten billion dollars, twenty billion dollars, fifty billion dollars, but it didn't end there. They had to go one step further. They made the largest note ever produced. This is a one hundred trillion dollar note. One hundred trillion dollars. Um, Trying to wrap your brain around a hundred trillion dollars. <laughs> if I gave away ninety nine point nine percent of this, I would still have a hundred billion dollars. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's just insane. Uh, ninety nine percent would be one trillion, so ninety nine point nine. I would have if I start with a hundred trillion, I would still have a hundred billion, and that's just absurd as far as how big of a number that is. Now. When it comes to numbers like that, let me put this over here. I want to bring something out. See if I don't, if I can't screw this up. I've got a whiteboard here. We're going to put this over here so that it's there. Now, $100 billion is a one with, if I recall, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14 zeros. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And you guys see the fun of being left-handed as I write that down, because as I'm writing, you can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so that is what 100 trillion looks like. It's pretty, pretty impressive. Now, to try to understand what that is, this is a strap of singles. Now... If I was to squeeze this down, this strap of singles, there are 100 in here. I'm going to use uh, the metric system because that converts the easiest. But this strap of singles, 100 of them is roughly one centimeter. Yes, we'd all agree that's about one centimeter. So for every 100 notes, that would be one centimeter. So if I had, let's see, 100 notes to equal one centimeter... 100 notes would mean I can take off two zeros. So now that covers, this is the number of these that I would need. Okay. Um, this equals one centimeter. So this would be how many centimeters these would be if I stack them on top of each other. All right. So a centimeter, there are 100 centimeters in a meter. So if I get rid of these two zeros, that would be how many meters it is. Now, a meter, if you're in America, that's roughly a yard. <laughs> roughly a yard is the best way to figure that. So that's how many meters, or roughly how many yards, you're talking if you were to stack these one on top of the other. Now, that still doesn't help out too much, but if we were to take these meters and turn them into... Kilometers, kilometers, that would be taking off three of these zeros. One, two, 
three. Now we're talking, if we stack up 100 million singles, this is how many kilometers high that would be. And if I just put a comma there and a comma there, that would be 10 million kilometers high. Now, that's kilometers, so we'll put K on there. If you convert this into miles, <laughs> that would be 6250000 miles. Okay, <laughs> that's just stacking them one on top of the other. Now, how far is 6.25 million miles? Well, this is about how far it is to the moon, <laughs> meaning 250,000 miles, roughly, which means you could go to the moon and back 15 times. <laughs> 15 times to the moon and back with stacking money. <laughs> That's what this note represents. Uh, it's just amazing that this note at a hundred trillion dollars and this note at one dollar can exist at the same time. It would take a stack of these that would be to the moon and back 15 times to equal what's here. Now, you may be saying to yourself, well, why don't they just knock off some zeros and get rid of the lower denominations? Well, they thought of that. In fact, they did that already. Twice. <laughs> because even though we've come up with this ridiculous number here, they had already knocked off six zeros the first time that they chose to do it and seven the second time they did it. Which gives us a total, let's see, would be this number with uh, 13 more zeros added to it. So that would be 10 million. So we'll go like this, 10, and then we've got one, two, three, one, two, three. That's 10 million. But they already took off 13 zeros. So let's put those 13 zeros back on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. <laughs> so if they didn't devalue their money twice <laughs> for a total of 13 digits, that is how long uh, of a stack that would be. Now remember, this is how many kilometers uh, that stack would be. And you can see here, all I have to do is turn this into a 6, this into a 2, and this into a 5, and then you can put in all the other zeros here, and that tells us how many miles that would be. Now, <laughs> since we're talking about ridiculously huge numbers, how big of a number is this? Well, have you guys ever heard of light speed? <laughs> uh, the speed of light? Um, the speed of light is not a speed. <laughs> the speed of light is a distance. <laughs> it is the distance light will travel over the course of a year. And how big of a number is that? Well, <laughs> that number is roughly 6 trillion. It's 5.87 trillion, okay? Um, well, we'll call it 6 trillion for argument's sake. How big is 6 trillion? Well, 0, 0, 0. That represents the hundreds. This represents the thousands. This represents the millions. This represents the billions. And this would be the trillions. So, six trillion looks like that. And uh, that brings us to here as far as the numbers go. Which means, uh, roughly, let's just put it in one, and then we got one, zero, zero, one hundred, one thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, a million, ten million. Yep. If you were to stack this many notes on top of each other, it would go on for 10 million light years, if I did my math correctly. And uh, <laughs> there it is, adding all the zeros. So uh, you can move any zeros you want and tell me if I'm right or wrong on that one. But uh, yeah, if you start with the original Zimbabwe dollar before they took off the 13 zeros, and you now look at the $100 trillion Zimbabwe dollar, 
Um, <laughs> you would have to stack them for a distance of one uh, of ten million light years. Uh, that's just crazy when you're starting to talk about numbers and how, how and what this piece of paper represents. <laughs> All right, guys, that's what I've got for you this week. Uh, if you learned anything new, go ahead and hit that like button. If you gave up a long time ago when I started writing zeros, congratulations. Uh, if <laughs> if you uh, like what you see and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. I read all your guys' comments. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next week.